I want to highlight here the word rejoice. What a complexity it is to rejoice in the midst of suffering. You know that rejoicing is a form of worship. It's a thankfulness. It's a glorifying of God. And in this case, it's being thankful to be associated with Jesus and to experience and to share in some of the sufferings that he himself experienced. I think about Romans chapter 12. This is Paul talking. He says, By the mercy of God, present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him, which is your spiritual worship. Now, I don't know about you, but as a believer, sometimes these verses get me amped up and excited, and I go, yes, Lord, my spirit cries out and says, I want to be a living sacrifice. It sounds great. It sounds really valiant. And as the years go on, I clearly have experienced the reality that it's extremely painful. It hurts to be a living sacrifice. Isn't that an interesting conflict? The flesh of us, the spirit of us, my spirit cries out, yes. And then my suffering comes upon me. And there's this conflict within me. The clash of kingdoms. Suffering wants to steal our worship. It wants to take all of your attention. It ultimately wants to silence your praise. Why is it that when we experience hardship, we get silent? And praise is so quickly removed from my mouth, but yet it's the reality of our experience. And I'd ask you to consider this thought. When we're gone from this earth, we'll never again have the opportunity to worship the Lord in the midst of suffering. And this is why I believe our worship here on the earth is so especially precious to the Lord. It's really our only shot at being this living sacrifice. Let me again remind you that in a new heaven and a new earth, which will come, we will not be able to worship through suffering and sacrifice. These characteristics, that shared experience that we have now will cease to exist. We worship now temporarily through our suffering, but will soon transition into worship within context of eternal perfection. And this is why I say, let's let it rip, to worship with all of our might. I want to encourage us, like the worse the suffering, the louder and extravagant the praise. That's where your worship becomes war-ship, W-A-R-ship. Because worship is warfare, and you need to know that. And I think God can handle some worship 